Good morning everyone. It's Saturday the 2nd of June. Welcome back to my allotment. Uh, about three weeks since I last recorded a video. Um, so I thought I'd do another quick tour. Won't be too long, I hope. Um, but just a few updates uh, since we were last here. Um, let's have a quick look at the horseradish first. Now, if you watched the previous video, you'll know that there was nothing in this tin bath at all apart from a few weed seeds. Now as you can see there are one, two, three definite horseradish plants. Now I think if I remember rightly there were six, five or six roots so wait and see what happens. It's a difference of three weeks basically. Uh, I think it was the 20 no, the 13th I think was my last video, so just over three weeks, um, which is uh, pretty good going. So hopefully the others will start to grow soon, or if not, it doesn't matter. Um, I've got three good plants there, so uh, quite pleased with that. Um, I think sunflowers next, these are doing quite well. Um, needed to weed a little bit around the bottom. I'll be doing some weeding today, but uh, yeah, basically they're starting to look a bit more like some flower plants um, and hopefully they will produce some good heads uh, or as many heads as possible. I think previously I've, I've never really had success with big sunflowers, either big heads or tall, uh, but I have managed to grow sunflowers that have lots of heads so I think if uh, Nick's watching this that's probably the category I'm going to aim for but time will tell and see what happens. You can probably see behind uh, squash, courgette and pumpkin plants are out. Uh, I've had a real problem with these, not uh, the plants themselves so much as, as the weather. Uh, we had a really hot dry spell and uh, they went in just before that and have needed a lot of coaxing along and watering. They seem to be alright now although they're still a couple that aren't looking too happy but um, I don't think we're going to need to buy any more plants at least these were all grown from seed at home so I'm hoping that that'll be enough uh, unlike last year when we had to get a couple of extras in the broad beans I think in the last video I was saying they're getting close well we had our first crop uh, last weekend um, and we'll be harvesting some more today they're looking really good really pleased with those so we're enjoying those um, spuds are now in full flow in fact I think I saw some flowers the other day so I know that uh, they're doing really well um, in my last video I talked about the badger proof or badger resistant cage that I was going to build well this is it it's obviously definitely not badger proof um, I think any self-respecting badger We'll be able to get through there. Um, it's a combination of the materials I had available, uh, being able to still get in and get and tend the plants and weed and uh, making it a little bit uh, less enticing to any opportunistic badgers that may come along and want to eat sweet corn later in the year. Um, I've sown or planted out some cucumber plants behind. Now I had I think it was five or six plants and I've only got two left basically again the hot weather just they just didn't survive so my plan was to train them up against the wire there the netting um, which I'm still going to do assuming that these two survive um, but it's a shame that I've lost the other sort of three or four um, I'm thinking about maybe planting some more, setting some more seed in, but I, I don't know. We'll wait and see what happens to these two, I think, first. And uh, I might, if I take a trip past the local nursery, um, I might pick some more up if they've got some. And then I've sown again behind uh, a second sowing of lettuce and a first sowing of rocket, which doesn't actually seem to be doing anything at all. This was sown two weekends ago. Um, there's possibly, possibly plants there, but they're difficult to say. 
Um, leeks, again, from, you'll recall from my last video, I planted 42 leek plants and lost over half of them probably to slugs. Um, well, things are looking up. One of my fellow plot holders had a lot of extra leeks left over and uh, let me have some. So I managed to fill in all the gaps and also plant a fourth row. So an extra, I think it's 14 plants in a row. So um, up to sort of 56 plants now. And at the moment, there's one or two maybe that hasn't made it. Uh, they're looking good. So uh, yeah, that one's, that one there is looking a bit doubtful. Uh, but most of the rest are doing well. So pleased that I've managed to kind of recover the leaks a bit, even if it uh, was with a bit of help from a plot holder, but that's what you do around here. You help one another out when it's needed. Um, fruit is doing well. Uh, now got fruit setting on the Logan berries, as you can see, and still a few more flowers on there to go. The gooseberries are not ready yet. Uh, but they're getting that way another few more a few more weeks I think normally mid mid June to the end of June is when we get our first set uh, runner beans I said I wasn't going to grow any runner beans this year but uh, well there you go so I've got a few plants so they're doing well they were planted at the same time as the courgettes and squash and pumpkin so uh, they seem to have done slightly better in the hot weather um, but only a little bit not too much better so uh, we'll see what happens they're supposed to do a variety called Enorma which I'm assuming hopefully means I get huge runner beans but we'll see um, leeks sorry leeks these are onions onions uh, just starting to try to set seed so I'm going to go around and get rid of some of the seed heads today and the garlic is getting to the point where it's almost ready to harvest it's starting to to go over um, so that will be coming out soon um, beetroot's doing really well I think last time we were here all of this was still under plastic um, I did take the plastic off not long after because of the hot weather um, it wasn't doing the plants any good uh, we've had, haven't had any beetroot yet, we've had a lot of radish and they, God they are so hot this year. I don't know why, whether it's because of the weather um, and they're also a fair size. Um, there's some fairly, not as big as my thumb um, and yeah, really pleased with those considering the last couple of years have not done too well. And then behind them lettuce and rainbow chard and the lettuce are doing reasonably well and there's one or two in there that are ready to be picked I think and uh, again a bit of weeding needed which I'm going to do today uh, these are some more radish but uh, these are mooly radish so big white radish uh, they were planted oh, last week or the weekend before I can't remember now uh, but doing really well and then uh, there were a few red uh, Red, 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 Brussels sprout plants, sorry. Red Brussels, bleh, I can't even say it now. You know what I mean. Red Brussels sprout plants, uh, which there's only one left. Again, heat. And then behind that, purple sprouting broccoli, which is also what's under that small green tent over there. So there you go. That's a quick update from here. Um, I'll tag on the end of this uh, an update from the potting shed where the tomatoes are. Um, and then you can have a look and see how they're doing. Um, I don't think I've I've mentioned them. I think in the past videos, but I don't think I've actually uh, shot any film from there. So I'll tag that on right now. Okay, so now we're in the potting shed, and as you can probably see, the tomato plants are out. The uh, this bit of wood behind is the top of the bench that uh, sits here during the winter season that um, we store all of our not hardy, non-hardy plants on uh, through the winter. 
as you can see, a, uh, three sets of tomato plants. Um, off the top of my head, I forget what variety they are, so uh, I'll look it up and put it on the screen below so that uh, you know. Um, and I've got one more trough here, which uh, I've got some tiger stripe tomatoes, which uh, will go in there, but they're not uh, not quite ready to go out yet, so I haven't uh, filled that with soil or compost yet. But uh, I've got six sets of whatever these are. As I say, I'll put it on the bottom of the screen. Um, and yeah, hopefully we're going to get a good crop. They've already got uh, some flower cordons starting to to come, uh, some flower trusses rather. Um, so hopefully. Uh, Later on this year we'll uh, have some tomatoes. Well that's about it for now. Um, I hope you're well wherever you are and um, I'll speak to you again soon. Take care now. Bye bye.